tagged up quite a bit. He is a Sage, but off a cooldown, now he does burn his heel to get that back up. PTC, too easy. One tap for him. Not able to land the follow-up. That classic will not connect as well from Secret. The pull might have come on in, but PTC has a graver gravitational of his own. Super bust chiming on in. So quick 5v2. It's a good opening pistol here, Asurai. I might say for full sense. Oh, heck yeah. That was supposed to be like the shield for showers. He was supposed to break, but it seems like PTC is hard about that. Now, moving forward onto Damwon. Gotta say, man, Texture, he's a magician. He just kind of just pulls things out of nowhere. When he got that Marshall, it's all good and done for him. Uh, but still, into this particular fight, there is a lot of forces that Damwon is setting up onto the B site. Opening onto the door, PTC is playing with fire, showing himself right back up. Eugene gonna miss the bounce on that uh, shock dart, and PTC, he's playing the most deadliest game of Roomba I have ever seen. Who's gonna be the winner of this one? Oh. Nobody, because intro dips into the fight. This is looking judge. And you might just lay down the law here if they get in too close towards that lamp's position. Will they see the light very soon? He has a recon ball maybe to force him off of this angle, but either way, Super Bus is going to be an advantage, and that he does capitalize off of John O. You could argue that Damwon are that team that has garnered so much information, so much experience against Southeast Asia teams, but Full Sense, they're, they've been watching. They've, they've honestly just been watching all of these uh, matches that Damwon have, have given. You know, there's basically like, what, five or four or five three best of threes that they've already played. Intro is still a fantastic player nonetheless. Still, PTC does get the 2k. Secret's gonna be doing a drop down on uh, Hookah here. And PTC, can he dig himself out? That's gonna be the 3k already. Spots out another Secret. Still gonna be able to take the fights. And it's all gonna be down onto Intro. One on one. Intro versus John Olsen. He's on the operator. And yeah, no he immediately pulls the trigger. No time. All he can really do now is just run away. But he should know that, that it's gonna be around. I'm one. Trying to aggress. John Olsen looking for a peek real deep towards the fountain, but nothing is going to come falling his way. He will get that kill on the texture. Very rough start for him as John Olsen gets that pick. He does get that pick in angle, and it's kind of it's working slowly here by full sense. Now Damwon, they're back to the drawing board. Eugene has picked up the Phantom, which is going to be good, and they're going to be waiting for maybe the utilities to dry up here for full sense. Still, John Hai, he spotted one. He's going to be trying to cross. The timing might not be just ready for him, and that's going to be the case. Spike has been dropped down in secret. He's all the way on Hookah. Hits the headshot on this up. A full five-man push coming from Damwon is a very tough task to uh, try and hold off. Lamisax was there, so he might have been able to do something. But yeah, as you mentioned, you know, if, you, if it can't work out with like two or three, why not just bring everybody here? Join the party. You know, it's it's uh, it's, it's nicer when you have the whole team together. And that's going to be what happens. There is going to have to be this retake in the three versus five. PTC has actually gone all the way around. I think nobody spots this, but Texture will spot the other. That's Superbus, who was kind of... That's going to be the guiding light that gives away the position of PTC. Oh, Ooh. good flash by there, and he gets caught out. Potentially could have found one, but this is looking like a flawless round here coming from the side of Dam one, and that it they'll it will be. Speeding on off here, and they finally get a round on the board through there. When they got that confirmation, they realized, okay, Belong's gonna be a bit too difficult to deal with. Let's go towards this A side, but super bus spraying on down, driving them through. And texture once again, a rough start. John also an opening pick here, and Intro will get the trade on a super bus. It's still a 4v3. Spike has been planted, as you know, has been retrieved rather, as PTC will get the kill on Jong Hai. Out in the Ooh. open, Eugene finding one, but not much more as PTC and Lammy stacks will eat them a And a full set. Yeah, totally. Can give you a false sense of security, those smokes sometimes, but this time, so did Jong Ai. He, luckily, he's literally got two healers on the same site as he is, so there's no problem in that endeavor. Push on out, flash through, and John also will save Lamy Snacks. Able to barely escape on that one. He actually smoked himself off. Texture on the aggressive push here with the classic one single right click is all he needed. And John Olsen's gonna find a second in the round. A few more bullets in the mag, but Texture! A triple kill for him! He's equalized the round, and now a 2v2. Oh, no. 2v1! Superbus goes down! That was a mistake from Superbus! He looked the other way when Intro was already on Hookah! This is gonna Spike leave planted. PTC in a really, really tricky spot. He does have a satchel to maybe reposition! Oh! What a headshot from PTC! And it's the one versus one, star versus star. This is gonna have to hit just directly to his body or that's not gonna happen! He drops down in front of the tube. 
He's gonna be throwing out the snake oh. bite, but PTC knew exactly where he was, marking his territory. They have John Olsen, he's got his blades, but he has a great off angle as well. If they peek this, I'm not too sure that they're gonna expect it so early. Great pick off on the secret, and that's a huge pick to find so much initiating power. No more flashes really to deal with here, and this just will allow Full Sense to keep on dipping into the fight. Oh, oh, this is gonna be a big one. They overwhelm onto U Haul that still leaves Super Bus at the site, and we'll see if he's gonna be the sentry. Right on top of this texture, right on his side, there is going to be Eugene, but he tries to isolate, maybe thinking that Zhonghai is going to be somewhere on bats, and I think his guess is going to be correct. The only thing now is, can he win that duel? Which he does. Oh, that's going to be the dash right click. He whiffs the shot, and we're left with Eugene. He does have the operator, though, so if he can maybe find the shot, it's maybe the thing now that DK will probably do, excuse me, or Damo will do, is wait for a little bit, but no, never mind. They use immediately the ultimate, and John Olsen's still out in the open, gets the kill onto Eugene. We missed that one, but still he does get the kill, and he is whipping out the blades. How does John Olsen... Later, as we end this first half, but... Oh, boy, that was... That was something. Superbus, I believe he got the kill through the smoke. He did not expect Zhonghai to double up with his teammate. With the Bulldog, not really the best weapon that you probably would want. Zhonghai, though, tries to create some pressure. But this split style of play that Damwon have been using are all across in this couple of rounds, it's just not working. Lammy Snacks, he knows that one is right in front of him. And as his Trailblazer gobbles it all up, this is going to be a hard, hard round for Secret to retake. Still, though, that's going to be the four, the first one. And yeah, oh, he gets the kill. Oh, okay. He's making it work. I got this spot. Yeah, seems like uh, if there's a will, there's a way here right now for Secret. But no stones unturned. He's be left on out. He's gonna be pulled in by the gravity well. PTC will confirm the kill. Full sense. And going into this one, they have to make this happen. Even though it is 1 to 11, much, much easier to do than the 3 9 curse. You still don't want to give any metric at all to a team like Dam 1. Now, Eugene, as well as intro, they really love to go for this flank. It is going to be Eugene first, as well as the Jet. And this is going to pinch play the rest of Full Sense. 5 versus 4, and they don't really have that much control. The question is, does Full Sense have some post plans that they can work moving forward to this one? Maybe not, but the Lammy Snacks double flank comes through. Still, somebody has to stop the plan from coming in because Secret is oh. just about to bring it to match point there were only 14 rounds actually 13 to have been played and we're now at round number 14 John Olsen will he drop a 20 bomb in like 14 rounds remains to be seen it's against him but this time poised to win this anti-eco do you remember that game that we, we casted with Full Sense when John Olsen was on the Phoenix and he had like a 30-40 bomb oh okay texture he, he's had enough He's had enough. He's got the 3K shutdown. That's going to be Lamin's next to finally quell the the man himself. But John Olsen has gone oh, into the back God. line. I don't know. Not one intro knows remaining. about this. Spike and he hits the shot. A. It's going to be the one on one. He has every bullet that he needs. Oh. Sure where to commit seconds. the defense to. But John Olsen knows he's going to commit to this market push. A single pick from him as intro gets that trade. Secret finding PTC here. That's a huge pick, but still a 3v3 like the double dipping you know when it, when you talk about chips and maybe sauces and dipping it's bad but in valorant is actually incredibly good that is a catch and a half for secret that really boosts up this retake possibility for damwon and cha he's caught right smack dab in the middle of like three people because super bus is gonna be on that long rotate they're marking him already and cha is in no man's land 35 hp in a dream if he can't hit the shot against texture he is just gone that's gonna be super bus with the flank already the defuse to come in he's gonna try to isolate the fight and he's holding on true here and cha's gotta have to hit a shot he waiting at the gates PDC, if you can hit this blade on the intro, this is going to be huge. Yeah, that basically ruins every utility that he has. Now, all they really have to do is maybe open the sight. Nice little tap from uh, Sha, but intro still gets the one kill. PDC with the right click, and they're starting off strong. And Texture, he don't want no nothing, but PDC comes to play. Eugene in secret. Spike's going to be planted down. It's all about that retake, but can they make it work? Eugene has some crack aim, but he's in a three versus one. One in front, one in the back, one in the side. And he is getting corralled. The flashes to come through the recon dart as well. And they cannot just, oh. he cannot just hold the case that Full Sense like to uh, wait for their disabled utilities before they commit to anything. Jonghai is going to get spotted by that recon dart, but his position has not yet been flushed out. So can they make it happen? Well, that's going to be a quick little no. Lammy Snacks will try to bring out PTC, but Texture, he's going to get a shutdown. Beautifully done by the man. Two versus three left remaining. Spike has yet to get planted down. 
And once again, we go to that perspective where it's all about the retake onto the side. That hero dropped down already. He's going to be spraying onto three. And he breaks at the Killjoy Utility. Oh my god, Lemmy Snacks gets away. But that lockdown is going to go through. Oh! He's, he keeps switching weapons. The interval that I think Lammy Snacks was looking for. Intro could be in a bad spot as he is onto the corner, onto the side. That stun might be able to find another, but it's the follow up with the Texture's uh, blades that will find the, the victims. Now, there is going to be some sort of control coming in through Pizza here, but John Olsen is going to be top, tip top shape. He is going to be switching right back out, but Shanghai is a beast. Oh, Lammy again with the. Uh, with the knives there, and he gets punished finally for it. And this eco, this is a sheriff buys, as well as the force on Texture's blades, working quite well for full sets. Yeah, this round is quintessentially weapons out. You know, keep your weapons out. Molly out on here on that fragment to flush him out of the corner secret. And he will get taken down by PTC. Great utility usage. He's been spectacular on using that to flush out these corners and punish bad positions. Or rather, maybe not necessarily bad position, but more like a committed position that we've seen here in Ascent time and time again. He's been doing that this entire tournament. Texture, though. He's got his blades on up. We know what this man can bring. He's been slicing and dicing the last game on the round, but this time, John Olsen off of the board. Whoa! He can be free to freely roam and super bust. A head found by him. It's all on the PTC, but we've seen PTC in this situation before SRI, and we know that he can pull this clutch out. Normally, you'd probably want to play on Hell in, if you're in PTC's point of view. But I like the positioning here. He might be able to get the catch off. He's been giving away at the information. Has to go above. There's going to be a shot off, but he's still not finding the kills on the texture. How many bullets that he has to make out just to take down this man? The classic has been whipped out, but the alt fire will just not be able to take down a Zhang Hai, who was the true enemy. And this can really kill them out, but they got the ult, so no more knives needed here. They have to know that intro's in the side, but PTC taking on down immediately. Immediately is a great pick and texture. We'll follow up on that one. The rest should be able to come up on here, but what time are they playing with? Flirting with the very little time that they got left remaining. Knife on out. Intro able to dodge that. He's blind though and stuck in that wall. They have to stick the plant. They do not have enough time to get it down. They're gonna have to go for the kills. And in that case, down after John Olsen. It works so incredibly fast for him. John, now three people on mid actually make that four. He's being bombarded from every single point in turn. And can he take himself away from this nasty situation? That's not gonna be a possibility as the four peak from dam one comes on true full set's not expecting this and they're gonna try to maybe make a pull on the trigger on the a side can it work out as, as ptc starts it off with a kill on the vandal and shaw about showing out it's 1v3 i'm gonna say it's totally unbelievable especially if fight than uh, new turn did on ascent and doing a much better fight than we saw in bind a while ago but here comes the hunter's fury john also potential or training potential excuse me for dam one it's very good I would say. Now, Texture, he wants a map control. He wants to figure out if there's going to be any opponents that's running right in front of him. Well, well, he did. <laughs> <laughs> he gets his answer at the very least. If that was he, what he was looking for. But now here comes a full send, full sense execute on his B side. That's the right. And the only player inside of it, well, it was secret, but he realizes he had to pull, pull back because he finds a frag on the way on now. But John Olsen and Lamy Sex will find one of the pieces of trade on secret. Comes alive. An intro has been spotted. It's all on him, but I don't think this is something he can pull on back. It's a 1v4. He's going to have to be able to get that kill. Yes, he does. Oh, getting a second. Blinded. Almost getting the third. Does not have any more flashes here, so he's got to be careful. He still does have an angle. The crossfire with Eugene is perfect, and this man demolishes straight up. Full sense is pushed onto mid. Secret now gets more information. The PDC is in a corner. There's the shock darts, and they might not even need to go shooty shooty bang bang at his position because he's about to drop down, and that is going to be about that. Unless PDC or not, this is going to be a flawless for Dam One. To be quite honest with you, this child like goes as well with the Sova drone. That's not the most or the. The biggest of their worries. Oh. It's how they're going to be able to go for that post plan because again, it's quite difficult to go against <laughs> that. But when John Olsen sneaks out those blade kills, I mean, uh, they'll probably take it. Four versus five in the end. It's still going to be John who will try to fight out. He does oh. have his dash out, but he doesn't need it. He's just jumping up and down. Black. What? Another time, one more, a third time. He's really trying to triple dip into this one. Normally, wow. but he's going to get punished. Finally, intro shuts him down. No more of this nonsense. And now here comes the execute. They got the neural theft, which could be very, very big for them. But the shred here is going in the way of both senses. PT about it. But this cam is going to get them a lot. I'm not too sure if they're going to really expect this. They could buy 
by far like just walk into the site and not even realize that they're being completely watched here by the eagle eye of intro they know that intro is going to be straight up there so they're going to try to flush it out first but oh no john Olsen was trying to scan out the site that's going to be the neural threat for intro and he's still holding on true still that's going to be charred to finalize the blow texture has whipped out the blades oh this is going to be big can the connives find the marker they're oh. seeing lammy sexist tip outside oh. and he actually whips the shot lammy oh. is a monster he actually survives that how does he make it happen 12 seconds to plant the spike down it's gonna be a two versus three last round in the first half and can texture and secret make it happen Ooh, we almost denied it you know he who denied it to us of how full sense is on their defending Superbus does take them out of the space from time to time, but it's all about how well they can go for this pistol right here. And now that double stack was just flushed out. I thought that there was like a bridge or something because it felt like the fault line was hitting, but no, it was actually the uh, trailblazer that made it happen. Now it's only the one to remain push here. PTC has thrown out the molly, but that's only going to delay the inevitable as they push in straight up following after Texture's uh, Tailwind onto the site itself. Superbus finds a kill through the smoke, I believe, through the door, and they are just getting pop shots through everything. And look, the door closes and st he's still getting kills. Now it's Eugene and Texture to remain. We'll see if Texture can follow up as he is just hounding down Lamy's Nexus position. Eugene down to one HP, finally gets so. Right now, PTC looking aggressive. We know that he likes to do this quite a bit to play short. And Superbus is going to try and bait for him. They're going to expect it, but he still gets a kill. Able to find a second here, PTC. He's insane on this position. Zhong Hai finding one. Can he find a second? Pop flash here out for PTC. A triple kill. And the this is for full sense to lose. And Intro knows this, so he's trying to at least maybe spot someone for full sense who's going to be greedy enough to try to go for the challenge fights with the pistols and it almost actually got them a couple of thrifty rounds that we were not expecting still here though i don't think they can make that happen here because of how aggressive just the, the rest of full sense want to go for these fights typically you probably just want witness me and let's just do this let's end this round let's get it over with john olsen doing the same more here opening pick off that's the operator we've been looking to see but this time it's not in texture's hands as it's john olsen finding him ptc holding down the line and of Whoa! course he's going to get the double kill john olsen a second on him the top two fraggers here doing so much work ug completely blind and ptc strats and positionings are things that have been catching full sense off guard like who waits behind the smoke like that who just does this ptc does he finds a double kill oh my god the right click god here from ptc another pop flash looking to aggress he's gotten two in the round and he's looking to overthrow this and give the match point super bust finding intro ptc getting jong high it's all in the ug he's gonna say sayonara but here finds a double as well Hunter Fury coming out from him he's gonna be able to stick the plan but it's a 1v3 they know where he is and john oh. will secure the round match point taken tournament point life away and so how do you counter that you just take out all the utility in the game by putting ptc on the kayo and getting two kills here from catwalk as you talked about that's right the king of the cats and excuse me from dk the lineups to follow through though is it going to connect that's the question looks like that's going to be a fat no and it's all about this three versus three retake there's time that wall is going to be dissipating in just a few moments and it's all about how well damn one can go about this but oh black Killjoy ultimate's just been used. But this is where Korean teams struggle against full sense in these post plants. Lamy Snacks has crept his way here deep into the heavens. I'm not too no. sure if he's going to expect it. Yes, he does get the kill on texture. Oh, Recon bolt on out and shall allow that to equalize the game and bring us to overtime. 32 kills on PTC. 32 kills. One. 40 seconds. This is true. This is real. The recon are to come through, but the double lineup. We'll see how this goes. There is a shooting squad from DK, and they are denying everything, but PDC comes in.